Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create tone and texture in an image like this one and in the style of the, fam the Boyle family. <clears throat> so as you can see here, I have sketched out very lightly the main kind of lines that I could see in this image. This is a cropped down version of the image, for this, just for this example. When you do your own, you will need to do the whole thing. I've just selected this area for a demonstration. So I've sketched out the rough kind of main lines I could see, and I'm going to work into it. I'm going to start by doing the very, very darkest areas. So I can see here there is a very dark area of shadow. So I'm going to first sketch that in. As you can see, I've got a very sharp pencil and I'm holding my pencil further down, not right up close because that will create too much tension got a nice loose grip on my pencil and I'm using it from the side like this. This way I have a lot of control over what I'm doing. I can change how hard or how soft I want to press and this will affect my use of tone. When I'm adding in this very dark tone you can see that I'm doing a kind of circular motion. This creates a nice even tone no scratchy lines. If you're not certain of what shapes you want to do just yet, I would recommend that you don't start with very dark bits or you put the dark bits in but much lighter like this just to mark them out and then you can go over them lighter later on. I've already sketched out my shapes so I feel confident to go in with a dark colour, dark shade even, straight away. The pencil I'm using is a 2B, this is just a kind of standard drawing pencil, it's not too hard or too soft. As you can see, this circular motion that I've been doing really helps to even the tone out. So now here, I want to blend this tone into a lighter area. This part is going to stay pretty much white, but there's a blending from around here to here. It's going to blend into the lighter area. So to do that, I'm going to start off pressing hard like I have done before here and then I'm going to slowly lift my pencil off the paper so it gets lighter, lighter, whiter. I'm going to do it all the way along. Now if you want to make this dark shadow even darker, you can just go over it again. I'm just going to continue blending this until it's really nicely blended how I want it to be. Okay, so then there's another dark area here, but this time it's just a thinner bit of shadow. So I'm going to just do So whilst I'm doing this, I just have the image that I'm working from up on my computer screen. So again, I'm going to fade this shadow out. As you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm moving my pencil in the direction that the line goes. 
so I'm not going against it like this or like that I'm moving in the same direction so if you are using a pencil that's particularly grainy or you're finding it difficult to create a softer line then at least make sure you're going in the right direction Now, as you can see from your image, the texture is not completely smooth. This is some kind of sand or um, dirt in the image. So to create that texture, we're going to add some dots and some kind of lines. So firstly, I can see that here, there's a line that goes something like this. And you can see that all the time I'm not doing solid big lines like this I'm just lightly sketching it in so that in case I don't like how what I've created it's okay I can go and rub it out and work back into it so for this sand texture I'm going to just create some kind of dots Now we've got some lines coming down, kind of sand dune lines like this. So here we're going to shade in the darkest areas of those. Fade them out. So what you'll start to notice is that nowhere on this picture are there thick strong lines that I've just drawn all in one go like that everything's sketched in and everything has been done carefully with thought and in a way that can be erased later if I'd want if I'd like it to be <clears throat> so what you need to remember is that anywhere that there is a kind of darker line like here these lines here or here it's not just a line on its own there's shading coming off it and the tone gradually fades out now this bit here is going to stay very very light as it is in the image it's going to be a darker bit that goes like this. So here you can see that I've just started working from one corner going outwards. I focused on getting accuracy of the shape, looking at the, the photograph. I've also focused on creating even and accurate tone and texture. For the texture I've used lines and dots but I've integrated them into the tone and most importantly I haven't used any scratchy or too dark lines, I haven't used any lines that go in the wrong direction, um, everything is even and blended. This is how you create an accurate tonal drawing. When you have finished your drawing, you're going to take a photograph of it, make sure that this is really nice and clear and in focus with good lighting. You're then going to email that photograph to your school email account. And then in Gmail, you will open your email and click on the image here where it says add to drive you're going to click that add to drive make sure that it says added to my drive you're then going to open your slideshow 
and in your slide you're going to click insert image drive go to my drive and you will see your image here double click it and there it will be you can make it larger or smaller 